Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the atomic package in Golang. So before I show how exactly to use it, I will start from talking about why it is needed. So let's say I have this Go program where I have this counter variable which is a uint64 and what I want to do on it is simply increase it thousand times. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I have this for loop here and inside the for loop I'm distributing the increment in go routines which means that I have I'll have a thousand go routines and each of them is going to increase it by one okay and just to ensure that uh, all of these go routines finish their work I have this wet group variable here which will ensure that we wait for all the go routines to finish before actually printing this number okay so let's see what happens. If I run this program, instead of getting 1000, I'm getting 1000 mm, here. Um, I'm getting 930 now, 980, 977. So as you can see, I'm not always getting 1000. It's 900 something, but sometimes I get 1000. And the reason behind that is that we have this variable called counter and it's stored in memory somewhere and what happens is that these go routines when they get executed they may try to access this variable at the exact same time and what happens in that case is that two different go routines can access the same value then increment and then put it back in the memory so if two go routine do this at the exact same time then one of them will be simply useless so this particular situation is called a race condition and you can visualize it in this way so basically let's say you have uh, one thread thread one here thread two here and this is a value of a variable and you know thread one first reads it then thread two reads it so both of them read the same value, then both of them do their own work, and then both of them write it back. So as you can see, that is the reason why one of them will simply become redundant. So to counter this type of scenarios, what we can do is basically ensure that when we are doing, when one go routine is doing its task, we have to ensure that the others are not doing the same thing. And this is where the atomic package comes into picture. So it uh, basically ensures atomicity in calculation. So atomicity basically means isolation from other go routines. So to use the atomic package, we have to import sync slash atomic. This is how we import the atomic package. And then instead of doing counter plus plus here, we simply do atomic dot add uint64 and here we give the address of the variable followed by how much we want to increment it by okay so now if we execute it we will see that this will always be thousand which is expected because we are ensuring atomicity in this case so when one go routine is actually doing this uh, addition then it it gets the value from its address and it ensures that none of the other go routines are doing the same thing and this is how you can ensure atomicity and so this is a brief introduction to the atomic package of uh, golang and and you can utilize it in case of concurrent programs where you absolutely need to be sure about isolation of uh, calculations